cash, bitch. Oh my God, I tried to tell these niggas before. If it ain't about my paper, I make the response. I got bigger shit to do, bigger shit to do. So let me grab my Billy Valentine and Christmas too. I know you got bigger shit to do.
leave receipts. Oh, well, receipts from an artist's perspective. Yeah. perspective yeah. You know, I love Fuck Glenn Lou. Mm -hmm. At a show in Atlanta, yeah, they was on the road, but they didn't took a detour. No, Miami. Mm -hmm. They took a detour to come to my show. Mm -hmm. Listen, <coughs> I could be on Frankstown and won't come to the show on Butler. Like, it's like... <laughs> 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 Like, that's what I'm saying. But you know what? Like, to be honest, I think I'm inspired by Dion, but I know Dion's just inspired by like he's inspired by the spirit of like you said collaboration. When you think about some of the greatest like like achievements in hip hop history, it was brothers that were selfless and were just like on one accord. You know what I mean? Like I talk a lot about like just being a solid yeah, fist punching at the same target. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like we okay. all strong in our own capacity, but we just you know what I mean? We just go it. We just go in different directions. We got to get to a place where, like, yo, we punch it up. That's why I love uh, the shows that y'all do every month. You know what I mean? Because it's just, like, a central place mm -hmm. of all the artists in one place. And you can just see that same target. The trajectory got to be the same for all of us. You know what I mean? Even though we all got our own individual goals, and I encourage that individuality, like, you got to think on some level. How can we get, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, you got to get to one accord in some capacity. Power and numbers, man. It's power and numbers. Yeah, and I want all of y'all to want uh, Los to those too. So I'm uh, trying to choke together. That's a cough? Yeah. Yeah, oh, my turn. I got the allergy. That's a cough? Yeah. That's a cough? Yeah. That's a cough? Yeah. Matter of fact, it sound like, what was that? That Toy Story movie when they found the doll under the car. Weezy! Weezy! Key to this music shit is momentum. 
and consistency. Regardless of what you're doing, it's momentum, it's consistency, and you got to continuously put out content because everybody, attention span, is short as hell. You know what I mean? This project is going to be, it, to him, it's going to be over in a week. You dig what I'm saying? It's going to be on me to keep the legs running. And in that process, he's going to have to continue to create. But he already has a gang of stuff sitting to the side to be able to say, all right, it's been six months. I'm ready to drop something else. Boom, you already have it. While you're still creating for what follows after that. And that's why I love what y'all do, because you stay in that creative space and working in different elements. Same with Bricks. <coughs> stay in that creative space. Same with um, shit all y'all for the most part are always at, at some point creating. But you know, there just there just be things that pop up that just kind of slow up the process. And what you don't want to do is be an artist who put out one song every three or four years or one project every three or four years because then it's almost like you got to start all the way back over. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So even though yeah. he was mad at me, I was thinking the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And thinking down the road and using what his previous experiences was, knowing that at the time the, the correction wasn't in place. But now that we got the studio here, a lot of what he ran into won't happen. Well... We can't, we can't speak on it. You know, shouldn't. You know, shouldn't, shouldn't happen. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you run into tech issues from time to time. And, you know, prayerfully, we'll be able to get those resolved if it do come up. Mm -hmm. But just some of the inconsistencies that happen from people mm -hmm. that is beyond your control. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't make a dude go in the studio and, and, and mix the song down, you know, even though you paid him to do it. I'm going to come up with every excuse in the world, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, and different things like that. So I just wanted to know, and I knew that this was going to be a dope project. So it was like, yo, once we start, we can't stop. Mm -hmm. We can't stop. So it's like, this is day one of the release. That's why we, I, I invited everybody down to come here, and I appreciate everybody who sacrificed their time to come through. Mm -hmm. We got a show tonight. You know what I mean? Out in Uniontown, <laughs> back yeah, out the way. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to continue to put him in position to be able to continue to get the music out there, setting mm -hmm. up interviews and all this stuff here, and continue to keep him on the road. So, um, and that's what we need to do as, as a whole. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? For everybody. Mm -hmm. um, just lined Primo up with some stuff for um, Cleveland All-Star Weekend. You know what I'm saying? Working on Cali's release party on the 25th. Getting ready to do his video um, for his new single, Give Us Free, and different things like that. So my job is always going to be what it is. And I'm always going to be, as long as I wake up in the morning, I'm, I'm prepared. I'm ready to go. You've been late for work a couple of days. Nah. I may be late from time to time, but I'm prepared to go. Not working, bro. We got to be able to be able to talk to each other a little more. Yeah. The same way he, he just said about the drive that we always in the creative space. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I envy your drive to be doing shows on the road out of town. Yeah, yeah. I don't do it as much as I should. Mm -hmm. I need to be in better contact with you. But it's, I need yeah, to be in better know. contact with all y'all, but we need to do it, feed yeah. off each other. Because yeah. we all work and some of us are stronger in other points than others. I mean, and, and, the, and, the, fun, and the thing about it is, like, the door is wide open. So it's like, it's just like you said, like, you, you hit the nail on the head, it's just communication. Like, we, I need to communicate with you that there is a show, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. first, and then... Shit, how many cars we need? You know what I mean? How much is gas? We shit, we got all this lap up on the floor. Like it's, it's it's nothing. Like you know what I mean? Like I tell you right now, I don't gotta touch a stage. Yeah. Just make me a part of the trip. Mm -hmm. Network. Yeah. yeah. And and to be perfectly honest with you, that's how he got here. Cause to be like, if we want to be all the way one hundred transparent, this whole shit started with bricks yeah. on the run. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And me and bricks was working big belly season and linking up with other people in other cities and shit like that. And it was that trip to Atlanta where he became the ghost. You know what I mean? That kind of opened his eyes what, up. Grand Hustle? Yeah, and we went yeah, down yeah. there. You know what I mean? We all went down there. It was a we super trip. That, that you know what I'm saying? But that's what opened up his eyes. And he was on some, what do I need to do to be able to put myself in position to reap these type of benefits? And if anybody know me, I, there's no strings attached. I'm, your, your dedication and commitment means more to me than anything. You dig what I'm saying? Because I don't want to be a half-ass. I don't want to be looked at as half-ass. And I don't want to do shit half-ass. And it appears that way whenever it's inconsistent. Whenever we start and then for whatever reason the artists stop doing what they're doing, people look at, hey, what's grandma doing? 
Like, I thought he was a grandma. It's supposed to be this, supposed to be that, whatever, mm -hmm. without understanding the full story. Mm -hmm. So I swear, the only reason why I say, like, let's just stay committed and dedicated. And that's what he's been doing. So for a large part of the show, when Brooks ran into things that was keeping him from being able to move around, he was still willing to drive, willing to go. And he wasn't even doing shows he just, or, or performing or doing collabs. He just was around mm -hmm. networking, sharing other people's content, you know, talking. And that's the beauty about our network is that our relationships with people are so, like, tight. Mm. Like, literally, it should be phone calls. Mm. And it's like, yo, just pull up. And when you come through, it's like all love. Mm. We be in the middle of the hood sometimes. Like, you swear it's going to be some shit, but it be all love. It be all love. You know what I'm saying? That's in Atlanta. That's in Kentucky, Miami, like, Tennessee. Like, it's, it's, it's practically everywhere we touch. New York. When we went up to New York, I called Product. Product was like, yo, come through. Y'all did a record, shot a video. Everything was all love. You know what I'm saying? So it's, 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 I'm thankful to be able to have these relationships, but I also protect them, you know what I mean, based off of what I know they, they need to be able to pull their strings. So if I'm saying, like, these are the things that we need to do to be able to get to point B, like, just focus on getting that done. Because I already had the conversations with these dudes or these females, to let them know what it is. They let me know what the expectations are, and then it's on me to make sure you all meet those expectations. Then I can make those calls and be able to make things happen. And like I said, I'm just thankful that he was able to, you know, show that commitment, and now, you know what I mean, his project is out. So everything you did up until this point, you got to keep going yeah, yeah, past yeah, this yeah, point. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, that's it, that's it, and, and like you said, you know, it's all in the marketing, you know what I mean, it's all in the finding an audience mm -hmm. who can appreciate what you make, because everything ain't for everybody, mm -hmm. um, but that's the beauty of music, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, and once, once you find those individuals who appreciate your art, they're going to appreciate it as long as you're giving it to them, mm -hmm. you dig what I'm saying? Yeah, um, it's crazy, like this whole journey, like Lydic was kind of like another rap school for me too, like, you know, I feel like every MC kind of go to some version of rap school, whether you just listen to songs or you go in the studio with some of your uh, friends and shit like that. And literally had to, like, relearn how to rap, you know what I mean, like, on the road. Because, like, I remember I was in the studio with Soda, fully confident that I could rap. And he was just like, you're doing too much. Like, that's too much rapping. I was like, what? What do that mean? But, yeah, you just, that, that's not it. That ain't it. And I'm like... So it's just like having an open mind, and it's just like, damn, I gotta learn how to rap again, like, cause. And even seeing like, no, that's that's just, that's just dealing with different artists. Right. I tell you right now, I went to the studio with him, and it, then they're trying to turn me into a different creative player. <laughs> that's, yeah, damn. You sure you want to do a song with me? Because <laughs> sometimes you gotta be able to yeah, adapt to people's yeah, styles. And it, it definitely, it is definitely, at, you know, adaptation. And stuff like that, because everybody's process is different. And that experience with Soda was like so dope to be able to kind of walk through how how much of a perfectionist he is. Mm -hmm. Like to the word, mm -hmm. he would say he would say three words and go back and say, no, 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 let me say this like this, let me say mm -hmm. this like this. And literally would have a different note on each one of the words he was saying mm -hmm. through his harmony. You know what I mean? It was mm -hmm. like crazy mm -hmm. to see that level of like preciseness. Mm -hmm. And then it shows when you hear his records, it's just like, damn, this shit sounds crazy. Yeah, so you know what I mean? So, and then, you know, you get that experience and you're able to apply it because even with like drama, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He tell you all the time, I don't want you rapping. Right, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and it, it goes down to what you said. It has to do with ge geography, right? Mm -hmm. So when you're in different markets, you know, people's like what they're fans of are, are different, but that's what makes y'all art. That's what art is, you know what I mean? Just being able to create mm -hmm. and when you're able to do it, <clears throat> you then are able to capture the ears of the people that's in that market. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got more fans in Kentucky and Tennessee. Yeah, yeah I remember I told them, I was like, yeah, John, I'm just waiting to get a fan base for my project. He said, nigga, you got a fan base. Yeah, everybody in Kentucky waiting for your shit. I'm like, yeah, you know. Kids <laughs> singing the <a> song, <laughs> putting the work out. Mm -hmm. We, I literally, we pull up in the city. Oh, shit, there go Los. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's, it's crazy. Gas station, you start to get gas. Mm -hmm. Nope, y'all ain't going no further. We got you. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, and, and and again, that's just that was just from being around. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That was just from being around mm -hmm. and just being consistent. So, um, like you said, the doors is wide open. Like the beautiful thing about the network is not like 
I'm only willing to do it with him. Or right. I'm only willing to do it with her. Mm-hmm. It's like, yo, if they ready, let's go. But it be it be your personality. Like a lot of people be like, like they be expecting to go from where they at to Los or Bricks or OT or whoever we working with off rip. Like, you gotta put a little bit of work. You gotta see how you working first, you know what I mean? Like, you gotta see like, is, is this is this something you just chasing the what you saw on the ground? Or are you really dedicated to this shit to a point where we can ask you, no, we all need to use your whip. You know what I mean? Can you bring your whip out. Let's see. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. No doubt. Receipts. Receipts. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, the pizza's for everybody, man. Please. Keep it in a slice of pizza. If it's it here, it's going to go away. It ain't going away. I just don't want to eat that much um, pizza. Over the course of two days. <laughs> I once was afraid of ghosts. Kill everything over, we coming in deep Watch how you move and get covered in shit Some business is moving and color the seas Color the seas, color the seas Me and my crew try to run up the feet If I come through, I ain't coming for cheap Get on my door, I ain't coming for sleep Coming for me, but it's color the seas Color the seas, run up the number We saw them, I'm coming to fuck up the streets Got nothing to lose, I'm coming to leave You can come up for me and I'm coming to the streets Come like you do with my lover who wanna be coming for rain The door that they came up Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So thanks to everybody that tapped in. Make sure y'all get that Loaf the Ghost available right now on your favorite digital retailer. This is what we do, man. It's grand mode music. Life in grand mode. Oh, 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 o